All right, so yesterday, man, we got our first look at the new Legend Rewards, man. And for whatever reason, man, people just will not be honest about how they truly feel about this Legend Reward. I mean, I get it. There's a lot of people that have logos that don't want to lose them. There's a lot of people on the cusp of getting logos that don't want to ruin their chances of getting the logo. But let's just be honest, y'all. The Legend requirement the, is too much for the rewards that we saw yesterday the rewards are trash and the reason the rewards are trash y'all is because those rewards will not stand the test of time for the rest of this 2k cycle bro the minute that they drop a jet pack the minute they drop a jet or anything like that that lowrider will never be used again i promise you it won't even now as god is my witness bro i would rather be on a magic carpet than on that low rider. That's the first reason why that reward is trash. The second reason the reward is trash, you get four badges for hitting legend, right? You can only put it on one of the four categories. So you just get four for all of those categories. What would make that better is if you added eight for each category. I get eight for, uh, for finishing, I get eight for shooting, eight for playmaking, eight for defense. So then that gives me the option to get another full Max Hall of Fame badge. On top of the fact, I get the four, you know, the little core pattern that I can shift and move around for myself. That alone would make that better. But honestly, yo, if I'm gonna talk about why something is trash, I'm gonna talk about what you could do to make it better. And what I say you can do to make it better is first off, make every badge tier go up one except for of course hall of fame right so if i have right now on my build i have silver posterizer make that badge tier go up one to to gold and then give me the badge point so that i can accommodate those new found badges that i got right or how about this how about you make it so that you know we get like a jet or something that makes us go into this place called the sky club right you know air jordan sky club or whatever and then everything in that store is free for the rest of the year right they add something new or old if i made it to legend i can get in my jet go to to the sky club it's like all like has clouds air jordan stuff all that dope stuff and everything in there is free every single thing is in there is free or here's another one I, I'm like, I'm thinking about all of this stuff on the fly, right? But I thought about this one yesterday. All right, you see how they got the replica bills, right? If you hit legend, you are able to make any Hall of Fame player or make anybody in the history of the NBA, you can make that player to the T and then give me a set amount of attribute points so that I can boost things for that particular player that they normally wouldn't have if I didn't have those attribute points, right? So let's say, for example, I hit legend. I can make the perfect replica of Shaquille O'Neal everything he does right but I get a handful of attribute points to where I can raise his three-pointer I can raise his free throws I can raise his ball handling I can raise his speed and that way I have a one-of-a-kind nobody can copy what I have Shaq build or I can make a Stephen Curry build legendary Stephen Curry build and then I can make it so that he has 99 slashing or you know I can make it so that he has a very high steal rate and a very high rebounder. If I make a LeBron James build, he's already pretty much the best all around player ever. But if you give me a bunch of attribute points for hitting legend, I can make an exact copy of his build and then I can upgrade certain things to make his build even more well-rounded. Like, I feel like the reason like the rewards suck so much for 2K lately is because they're trying to keep it so realistic that the game doesn't feel broken when they add things. So it's like, Okay, well, we want the, we want him to feel like he has the best build out here, but I don't want it to be so overpowered that the people that don't hit Legend will complain about it. And I'm going to be honest with you. Fuck the people that didn't hit Legend. I'm going to be honest with you. If I'm putting in the time, if I'm putting in the time to rather, for whatever reason I'm doing it, rather I just want to hit Legend to hit Legend because I just love the game or because I'm trying to blow my channel up, I deserve to have something that still continues to make me different from everybody else in the game. Do you know from a content creation standpoint how dope it would be if I had that replica thing I talked about earlier? I can make a spud web build with a 99 vertical because of the extra bat extra badge points they give me. There's no cap on whatever I want to put those. I'll just get a handful. So if it's like maybe just 50 attribute points, right? I can put those 50 wherever I want but I can make an exact replica of whatever player I want. And it's already in the game. So it's not like you're, I'm asking y'all to do something crazy, right? If, if I play my team, all of that stuff is already there. You can, I, can, I can play with LeBron. 
okay but then you add shoes you can make them a little bit faster or you can add extra badges to them it's not a concept that's not already in the game you see what i'm saying so my thing is if i'm going to grind the game you have to give me a reward that's going to stand the test of the whole year the whole year joe knows would love an, a legend reward like that he would grind legend in two days if he had the ability to make any nba player exactly the way he actually is and then can also add badge or add attribute points and different things to it to where nobody else can copy his build no matter what they do they can get close but they can't do it yes would it be a little bit broken yeah will people complain who gives a fuck i grinded 120 something days straight 120 something hours straight i deserve this i should get that the only saving grace for that whole thing bro the only serving saving grace for his his grind was the fact that he got a freaking logo and that's it and honestly to be honest with you bro i don't depending on how good of a content creator he is nobody's going to really care you know what i'm saying so yes he can get the he can get the logo right people might be like oh who is this okay they might go to his twitch stream they might follow they might go to his youtube he might follow or he could just end up falling off and he doesn't make anything else for the rest of the year and then he just has a logo for no reason at all he, just, he you know what i'm saying so you got to give him a reason to keep coming back into the game and keep playing the game and i'm gonna be honest with you bro none of those legend no none of those legend prizes will make me if i grinded the game that long would make me want to continue to get back on the game but boy if i can get on the game and every single day i can make a new build every single day and have my legend re legend requirements and, and all of that stuff done i would do it bro if i got on the game and a new mascot dropped and i can go in my jet and go to the sky club and everything in there is free that will make me keep getting back on the game because i was like oh let me see what's in here today even if it's exclusive stuff it's only stuff that i can put on you know but at the end of the day it's i just i just feel like 2k needs to get back to putting things in the game that make it so that you are absolutely freaking lootly different from everybody else 2k19 what made me different from everybody else you can have my exact build but when i hit 99 overall all my badges went up a tier all of them 2k19 was great 2k17 2k16 you had a tiger you had jetpacks mascots things that differentiated you from everybody else you knew if you were playing a legend you would have to play the best game of your life because his build was going to be that much better than your build I'm not getting any I'm not getting that feeling from any of the rewards from this year but that's my personal opinion man y'all drop down below what you think would have made that legend so much better that legend prize so much better again personally for me make it so that I get eight extra badge points for all of my categories make all my current badges go up one tier make it so that there is a store that is away from everybody else that requires me to get in the jet uh, a jet that I can get in at any point in time, make it so that I go to the Sky Club and I can buy anything in there, or well, not buy, but anything in there for me is free. Make it so that I can make repl replica builds to the T, but then give me a handful of attribute points so that I can make that replica build any way that I want it. But it makes it so that the character is to a T. But like I said, if I make a LeBron, if I make a Spud Web build, I can use those handful of points and give them a 99 vertical and a 99 dunk and a 99 speed with ball. That would just be. <laughs> And then make it so that they actually have their nicknames or make it so that it says the player's name. What's his build name? Oh, he got a Spud Web bill. Oh, he got a Spud Web bill. Oh, he got a LeBron James bill. Oh, he got a Kevin. It was like literally just say Kevin Durant, legendary Kevin Durant or legendary LeBron James or legendary Spud Web or whatever the case may be, bro. Stuff like that will make people want to play the game because all because like I said, if you're a content, more than likely, if you're going for legend, you're a content creator. And if you're a content creator, you want something that you can keep making content on that would differentiate you from everybody else. That's how you blow up in the 2K community. You end up hitting legend or you end up being a really, really dope content creator. But I don't want this video to get too long. I think we already at like nine minutes. I know TikTok's going to cut me off. I think at eight minutes, so I probably already went too long, but man, we got to do better, 2K, man. We got to do better. I'm out, man.